Welcome to this demonstration of the Advanced Productivity Pack solution for SAP Business One. In today's demonstration, we are going to show how to create a function button on a Business Partner Master screen that will open or launch an additional screen in SAP Business One. Let me talk for a moment about what Advanced Productivity Pack delivers. It delivers very simple to advanced document and report delivery. It delivers interactive dashboards where users can create custom dashboards without any programming skills. It has embedded with it advanced query and visualizations where users can see data visualized the way they want to see it with charts that are customizable on the fly. Customizer functionality is very robust and easy to use. Users can now create function buttons on screens or move user-defined fields or create tabs. Or they can apply things like tab sequence or create mandatory fields to help keep things like data integrity consistent throughout the application. For today's demonstration, we're going to create a function button in SAP Business One using Advanced Productivity Pack. I want to point out that function buttons can be created on any SAP Business One screen they can also be created on any SDK created SAP Business add-on solution. And they can be used to launch and populate data or screens throughout the application. Now let's move on to the demonstration. We'll begin our demonstration in SAP Business One on the Business Partner Master Data screen. In our demonstration, we are going to create a function button that will launch the sales order screen populating the business partner information to the sales order screen from the business partner master. We'll begin our demonstration by doing a right click on the business partner master screen. This will launch the APP customizer view where you now see we have several different options available to us but for this demonstration we'll select a new item and we'll select the function button. An item placement option appears, which gives us the option to place this button anywhere on this particular screen or select one of the predetermined locations based on left, right, above, or below. We'll put this function button above the existing button on this screen. You can see that a new button appears. By default, it's named new item. We'll move ahead and change the name of this function button. We'll call it order. We'll make the font bold. You see we have several different options here. We'll now go to the events tab where we will select the click event, which means anytime we click this button, something will occur. We'll now go create a procedure and we'll define new. We'll name our procedure. For this demonstration, we'll call it the business partner order or let's call it launch order. We have three options available to us here where we can load a macro or record a macro I should say or we can display an alert or we can load a query. We'll record a macro here and you'll see that a red button appears telling us that we're now in a recording mode. So let's do a right click on the customer number in the business partner master screen which will then bring up the APP customizer screen again. We will now copy that particular field. We'll now go over to the sales order. We'll open the sales order screen. We will then right click into the customer number field where the APP customizer screen appears again and notice this time the option of paste item card code 2000 appears. We'll select that. Now let's go ahead and stop our recording. Our macro is now complete. Let's click OK. Now let's apply and close this event behind this button, function button, that we've just created in SAP Business One using Advanced Productivity Pack. Now let's close our sales order screen. Let's reload the Business Partner Master Data screen and we'll select a different business partner. Let's go ahead and select a different business partner here. 
you'll see our function button now reads order. We'll select order where the sales order screen will be launched with the information from parameter technology embedded in the sales order screen. In closing, I'd like to briefly point out what we just created in SAP Business One using Advanced Productivity Pack. We use the item placement features. We created a function button. Behind that function button, which we named order, we recorded a macro using simple point and click features available in the Advanced Productivity Pack solution. We then saved the macro, and we went on to launch the sales order from the Business Partner Master screen. To get more information about this functionality in Advanced Productivity Pack or any of the many other features that are available in Advanced Productivity Pack, please feel free to reach out to us via our website at www.twbs.com. Third Wave partners and customers can click on the customer support link and gain access to our support portal, or they can reach out to us via email at twrespond at twbs.com. Please be sure to sit in on several of the other demonstrations around functionality in the Advanced Productivity Pack solution. Thank you for your time today.